Jack from B&T McFarland and today we're going over the Kubota B26 TLB construction tractor. So today I'm in front of the Kubota B26 TLB. So a lot of people ask is when should I be getting a TLB tractor versus a normal tractor and where exactly does this actually fit in the Kubota lineup? So generally this Kubota B26, it's gonna be size equivalent. It's gonna have the exact same engine and horsepower as a B2601. So that's gonna be Kubota's first compact tractor. The only difference is that this kind of fits outside of the normal tractor lineup of Kubota. And you're gonna to see today that's for a couple reasons. But this 20, uh, TLB lineup in the B26, generally these TLB tractors, they're turned up to 11. So everything about them is just more power. You get more loader, more backhoe. You get a couple nicer features up in the operator's platform. So these tractors, they're definitely geared towards landscapers and guys who do construction and rental yards. And that's just because these are absolute workhorses. They'll outlift the B2601. They're even gonna punch way above their class, almost up into like an L4701 territory tractor. Their backhoe is just gonna be turned up again, up to 11. And everything about these is bulletproof and built to last. And with that being said, you're not limited to just using it as a construction piece with the loader and the backhoe attached. You're actually able to take the backhoe off of this tractor and use it as a normal tractor with a three point hitch. So even if you get one of these for your hobby farm or for your property, you can actually use it like a normal tractor and pull your box scraper. You can use your rotary cutter and even use a rear three point hitch snowblower. But you're gonna see a couple features that kind of gear it more towards again, that construction rental yard type of use. So we're going to start here on the front end loader of the tractor itself. So this tractor it's going to have the TL500 so this loader it's an absolute beast. So it's going to lift about 1300 pounds to the top lift height at about eight feet. So for comparison in your B2601 that loader it's only going to lift about 900 pounds to the top of the lift height and this will outlift it by about a foot and a half. So this will lift almost eight feet where the B2601 is going to be lifting at about six and a half feet. One of the main advantages of this loader too, and a very important thing to note about all the TLB tractors, is although the backhoe is removable from the tractor, the front end loader is actually not removable from the tractor. So that gives it a huge advantage in terms of lifting capacity, because Kubota, they can actually place the loader at the position that allows it to have the best possible lift capacity and lift height specs on it. But if you're looking to run a front snowblower, a front broom, or any kind of front attachments, you actually won't be able to on this tractor. And it's just because another thing, it does not have a mid PTO as well. But what you do have is you have a skid steer style front quick attach on the bucket. So you can dump the bucket and you can put on a set of forks or a grapple if you wanted to. So now we're gonna hop up to the rest of the tractor. So now we're gonna take a look at some of the features on the operator platform here. So from first glance, you're gonna notice it's a very, very nice experience inside of this operator seat. So you're gonna have a nice flat floor with a rubber mat. So that's gonna keep the noise as low as possible while operating this machine on the job site. Your loader stick over there is actually in a very nice position with an armrest right beside it. So when you're using the front end loader, you can actually just kind of sit back and relax while using the front end loader. You also have a selectable three-point hitch, which is nice, especially if you're gonna be doing any kind of grading or box scraping with this tractor. It also kind of is nice for the hobby farmers too, that they have that selectable three-point hitch. So if you do decide to use this in more of a agriculture, hobby farm kind of application, you're gonna be able to select have to have a bit of depth control on your three-point hitch. Your rev uh, is also very close to where your loader control is, which is nice when you're using this in, in a construction application because you're actually able to adjust your throttle a lot quicker than having to reach up onto the uh, steering column in order to, to change that. And you'll actually see when you're sitting here, you're gonna look out onto the front loader and there's actually a rod level indicator. So that's gonna tell you when your front bucket is level. So a lot of people, they use this to move around pallets. So that's gonna be very, very nice and a lot safer to know when your pallet is actually flat. 
And then over here you have your PTO can controls. So like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna have just a rear PTO on, on this one. It does not come with a mid PTO like the B2601 counterpart. So you can run any kind of rear implement. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you look at the B26 TLB is this very impressive four post canopy. So this is actually ROPS and FOPS protected. So it's gonna protect it in event of a rollover. And when you're on the job site as well, it's actually gonna have fall protection. So if anything were to ever fall on the, on the top of the uh, tractor here, it's actually gonna be protected from that. It also comes from factory with front and rear work lights, which is nice when you're on the job site at night. So now that we've covered almost everything on the operators platform, we're gonna move back to the backhoe. So now we're gonna take a look at the backhoe on the B26. This backhoe is very impressive. It punches way above its weight class. Looking at this, it's going to dig at about 98 inches at a two foot flat bottom. It's going to dig about a foot, foot and a half deeper than the B2601 counterpart. So like I said earlier, every part of this machine is cranked up to 11 and that includes the backhoe as well. That's definitely no exception. One of the key things on this backhoe, it's not installed right now, but you actually have the option to install a hydraulic thumb, which is a huge ad benefit to this uh, rear backhoe. It's actually the smallest backhoe in Kubota's lineup that you're able to add on on a hydraulic thumb to. You also get nice reversible stabilizers so if you're working on asphalt you can use the flat side and if you're working in kind of a, a wet or swampy ter ter uh, terrain you can actually flip those around and they'll actually bury themselves within the ground to give you a little bit more added support. support. As well this backhoe it is removable from the tractor it is very, very similar to the rest of Kubota's lineup where you just pull the two pins and the backhoe will actually separate away from the tractor and you just disconnect a couple hydraulic lines. It shouldn't take you more than about five minutes once you get familiar with it. So a little bit closer look at this backhoe is the bucket itself. So on the B26, you're actually able to get a quick attach coupler for it. So if you're on the job site and you want to switch between either a ditching bucket or a digging bucket, on this one you have a digging bucket but you're actually able to do that on the fly. You can actually get the same coupler that uses the mini excavators so you're able to use some of the buckets that you might already have for your mini excavators for this one. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the Kubota B26. I hope you guys kind of see a couple of the key differences that separate the TLB especially the B26 from the rest of Kubota's lineup and if you need help with parts, sales or service give us a call at 613-225-0555.